It's Ray Give TV. Uh-oh, we got content. Okay, so check it out. Whack 100, Loose Cannon, 600, Exposed Blue Da Vinci for actually being a rat. What? Let's get right to it. It's Ray Give TV. Exactly what he said, but whatever he said, was good enough for him to get that safety valve. That's how niggas know he read it. He wouldn't have got that safety valve, whatever he said in that proffer wasn't good enough for them folks. Uh, yeah, so when we got off the phone that day, I mean, I left the room that day, I called Baby Runner with the nigga on the three-way, like I said. Mm, oh, you talking you about know. that one that the day? Oh, my mama, I did. Hey, on my mama, nigga, what you mean? He got right off, left this room, called so that That's why dude. they mentioned the 40s, because I heard something. Yeah, the exactly, 40s. nigga. They got on my phone. They were running, get on the phone, and I, you know, running questions. And he go to tell him, baby runner. Baby runner said, okay, well, you got a safety valve, or down with the party said, safety valve. And he goes to break down. He got like, uh, it's like three or four different safety valves. He got the first one, the one where you never been to jail, uh, nonviolent, took your time in a timely manner. And the baby runner said, yup. He said, and the last one is, you gotta cooperate. All right? What did he, what he say? He said, yeah, but my attorney, did all the talking for me. Baby Runner says, your attorney is not the one that looking for cooperation from me, looking for cooperation from you. So even if you had information that they already had, when you give them the information, it's just verifying the information. You know, two, three motherfuckers saying something on a motherfucker make the case that much stronger, right? So, Baby Runner called his other homie, uh, Keith something. He said, Whack, I've been to the state and the feds. He said, Whack, we just met Father's Day at the movies. You was with your kids. You know, I know I'm talking to him. He said, Bro, bottom line is this. He said, On Crip, you hit the yard with a safety belt on your paperwork, we stabbing you. That's it. He said, but he wasn't no USP. He was in a low-level security. Hold on. Yo, uh, Ghost, hey, get baby running in here, bro. I bet. I'm about to send him the link. Yo, this shit is crazy. Like, it's right damn, TV. Blue. So, this whole time, this shit would have never came out because Wack was the only person who was protecting that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who was looking out for him? And he even admitted to it on that phone call. He was like, "I can't never go against him because of this and this." But it's like, yo, bro, shit. And what you say, Ghost? You said that it'll it'll probably look bad if he would have lined this up, especially with a situation like that. He would have been better lining this up with whacking his people, right? But he chose not to. So it is what it is. Like, um. Uh, that was just a stupid, that was a real stupid move on his part. Like, I, I don't, he shouldn't even got involved in that shit. Like, that's like, that's like if you got smoke with a nigga, Chuck, and I know the nigga, right? I'm going to stay out y'all shit. If I'm cool with both of y'all, I'm going to stay out y'all shit. I'm not finna come to you with some peace treaty or him with no peace treaty shit, especially if I know it done all the way, all the way went left already. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's on y'all. I'm gonna stay out that shit. I'm cool with you. I'm cool with him. That's that. I don't have no business in that shit. But the shit, blue, the shit blue did was like, that was some lineup shit, bro. Any nigga from the street gonna look at that shit like some lineup shit. Why you calling me over here with some niggas you know I don't fuck with? Some niggas yeah. you know who's acting like they want to do something to me, but you calling me over here with these niggas. Yeah, so when we when I, I told him that, I'm like, listen, bro, that shit didn't even sound right. He was like, yeah, I apologize, my bad. I should have never did that. I've been out of L.A. for 25 years. 
or, or whatever, I'm just gonna you know, coming back. I'm like, bro, this shit don't even, it ain't even look right. So when you trying to plead your case and you don't know what's going on, you should have never mentioned it. You shouldn't even said shit. And he was like, yeah, I should have never mentioned it, said anything now, and everybody calling me because y'all exposing me. Listen, that's how it goes. Wack was the only person that was saving you. And he kept saying that. Hey, y'all know uh, we got Stat 280, so you know, the interview that we had did with Jay Diggs, I think that at the time, that was probably Jay Diggs' first time speaking on that shit. So he did the interview with uh, UOD uh, with Stats 280, and then he doubled down and came back and did one with us, too. We was all affiliated with the same interview, the two interviews, right? So, hey, Stats, what you what you think about hearing this now, bro, like that, uh, that shit, that shit didn't hit the fan with Blue, and it's like, you knew this the whole time, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, of course. Like, we knew the whole time. I, I just, you know, at the end of the day, it's just for content. People, like, certain people will be like, yo, they got to get the paperwork, bring the paperwork. But then when it's with certain people that they in favor of, they not going to ask them for the paperwork, which could have absolved everybody of all this wondering and trying to figure it out. But we knew all of them. Yeah, I wonder why people keep saying that. I seen that on some comments earlier too. They like, yo, is this uh, whack? Uh, apologizing to Jay Diggs. What the fuck does Jay D- Jay Diggs? Of course, he's a, a big key in this this whole situation because he's the link to um with with the uh, Blue Da Vinci and but Blue he's Da Vinci. But uh, Jay Diggs mm-hmm. stood on it though. Like when it came up, even when y'all asked. Even when we all asked, like he stood on that, like he felt like that nigga did what he did. Yeah, he said he said he said I love that nigga because he said he said he used to live with him and everything. Yeah, remember them stories he told us. He was like, "Yo, I fuck with Blue, but once that shit came out, I don't deal with rats." So you know what I'm saying? The type of nigga I am, he like I can't fuck with that shit. And I told Blue, just show me the minutes from the whole shit. And show me what you said in that court proceed, which would be the proper. You know what I'm saying? The queen of the day. Right and you won't get a queen of a day. Everybody know you won't get a queen of a day for not talking. You gotta, for one, you gotta admit to everything you done. That's number one. Number two, while you admitting the shit that you done, you gonna be implicating other individuals who were involved in that particular case. These are facts. You can't go around this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, it, it's even with the uh, a ghost. It's like when Poo Shiesty come home. If Poo Shiesty don't, don't take care of that third member who copped out last, I believe that that third member is going to start calling Poo Shiesty a rat. Oh God, he is. You know he is. The nigga definitely you know gonna start calling him a rat because in Poo Shiesty, in Poo Shiesty's proffer. He identified them niggas who did that shit with him. You know what I'm saying? And and he talked about other crimes that he did in the past. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, he went back to like 16 or 17 or some shit. Right. But but the thing is, if all them niggas agreed to do that shit, they scrape. But if like you said, one of them decide like, man, this nigga yeah, ain't looking out for me them, no more. He can he can go bad and be like nigga rat. Like if they was all on the same page, the one dude took two weeks to to go ahead and cop out. Why would he take two weeks after the fact they copped out? Why would he take two weeks later to cop out? That don't make any sense because if they all on the same page, they would have did it at the same goddamn time, right? I mean, they could have had different court dates and shit like that, though. Hey, Chuck, what's Blue's response to this? Is he is he disputing that he he proffered? He met with them, like no, he said he proffered and he met with them and he got a downward departure. But the thing is, he trying to say he didn't tell them anything. Everything was already told. They was already locked up. They was already cooked and all this shit. But 
Shit, I don't know. Bro. Why not you go get out. it? Why not just go get the paperwork and up it though? Like, why is he even? You know, what I mean? maybe that's the answer yeah. in the south. Yeah, you know, what I mean? that's very that telling. Shit. That's what I've been saying. He got it. That nigga got that shit, bro. He definitely got that shit. He got that shit. He know exactly what he said in that that room. That's why he not dropping that shit. Cause he know what he said in that shit. He know if he dropped that that transcript of what he said in that prophet, he know that shit gonna make him look way worse than what niggas looking at him now, bro. They ghost. But the thing is, Blue has said it in interviews that he conformed. He he said that. Yeah, so it's you like, noticed though on that phone call, Loose, you notice on that phone call, he kept seeing how he not a street nigga no more. What was that about? Yeah, because we was pressing the nigga. We was like, nigga, I told him, I said, nigga, Big U is a rat. So why in the fuck is you saying something or sticking your nose in something in somebody's business? He talking about, man, I'm a grandfather now. Then you need to shut the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? Stay out of street business. Just tell them, don't say cuz, don't do. It's the same shit the rats do. They want to be a gangster one day. Be, he took money from East Coast Crip. And then you want to be a grandfather when it don't go your way. Right. But hey, see, that's the contradiction, though. Him. That's the big contradiction, bro. The, the way Blue Da Vinci even came back to the internet was calling Big Meech a rat, trying to expose Big Meech for being a rat. Facts. But now, but now when the, the tables turn and, and the, sh the, the shit is on you, you talking about you ain't a street nigga when niggas talking about Big U and shit. Oh, I ain't a street nigga no more. I'm a granddad. You can't do that, bro. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do both. You got to pick one, bro. And that's what got out and shut the hell up and didn't even shouldn't even went. He shouldn't have talked about nothing that happened in the past, basically. They was out, they couldn't speak for themselves, so he should have just, like you said, if he wanted to be a civilian, he should have started when he first got out on that type of time. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. And then you probably work with his program because his whole program is BMF. So even even the fact that BMF is not you know what I'm saying? Because I hear that they not even going to represent him in that series. In the block. No, so so basically he was telling uh, Wack, he was like, man, can you give me some interviews and stuff like that? Can you give me 5000 for No Jumper and stuff? And then Wack was like, nigga, your numbers is not even your... You got 20000 oh, 20000 your last couple of interviews. Nigga, why he, the he was fuck asking you about the network too, 5, he was trying to get on a network. Was you on WAG or something? On that phone call with 600, I think he was asking for a show on the network. Funny, funny yeah, yeah. He, he was basically begging, you know, when niggas broke and they, they need an opportunity, they come to us. Oh, Luke, you got the network. Can you get me popping? I'm like, nigga, you see, I didn't say anything because at the end of the day, I don't do business with rats. I don't fuck with rats. And they... It was already out the bag. We already had the paperwork. Hey, what? So how was 600 involved in this? Like, what's the connection with him and 600? Because I think he was alluded to them doing business or they were trying to no, serve some sort of interviews. So, 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 bas so basically, we was all on FaceTime. We was talking about the, the paperwork and everything. 600 told this nigga, like, like, bro, What's up with this information? Me and Wack heard enough. I got off the phone. Wack see me, see my face, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I know you ain't fuck with it." So I get off the phone. He Wack get off the phone. Then six hundred, basically stay on the phone. He was like, "Man, um, since they all off the phone, I want to tell you that I want to meet you and take a picture with you and." Um, invite you over here with Poppy LQ and Big U and all this other shit. So six Sunday hit us right back. We get on the phone and then y'all that's when y'all hear that conversation. Okay, that makes sense now. Hey, it, was that you that think that was an accident like, or like he slipped you, up? Where where is six hundred? Where's six hundred at cause 
I want to ask him, like, so was he going fuck with him because off the strength of whack? Or it was just off the strength? Because he don't really know Blue like that, right? Nah, he don't, he don't know. But 600 wasn't fucking with him. Go ahead, you mom. My bad, bro. I ain't mean to cut you off. No, nah, no, nah, you good, you good. Now, I was just curious, like, so I guess is it him bringing up that Papa LQ name that through the... You know, monkey wrenching that little operation, or I'm wondering, did he do that do that on purpose, or he slipped up? Because it don't seem like that's said right with y'all. No, see, see, the thing is, the nigga first day coming to California, he calls Wack and he tells Wack, "I need you to cut it out with the business with Big U because Big U is at the table with us, right?" Then he tell my man Dino, he was like, "I need to call." I would want you to call Loose Cannon so I could tell him to cut it out with uh, with Big U because so we could go and get this money together. I so see. already that don't sit right with us. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, who, who the fuck is you? They be talking about like some street politics with us and you got some snitch paperwork going around. You get what I'm saying? Nah, I'll make sense. So y'all was just basically, he was in the trick bag, he didn't even know it. Yeah, no, he was in the trick bag, but at the end of the day, it's like, we already had the paperwork. So when we asking him certain questions, he's giving us the run around. You get what I'm saying? Then he's talking about, whack, I just need to do some interviews. I need to feed my kids and all this other stuff like that. I got my family with me and stuff. And... He on FaceTime showing us his his, his kids and stuff. So we whack looking at this nigga like he crazy. I get off the phone because I'm like, yeah, bro, it's a rat. There's no need for me to be on the phone with him. I don't want no static or, or anything like that. But it did win. We wasn't even going. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. So what I'm getting is the whole time blue must have knew that Wack didn't understand the, um, how can I say this, the, the federal verbiage, right? On what this mean or that mean. And he did his research and he got the facts right from people that's actually been to the feds, you know what I mean? So the whole time, Blue was basically spinning Wack, you know what I mean? And uh, there it go. The information is out. He got his time and went right to a low. And uh, yeah, he's trying to pop Big U's name. Big U must've got him in his ear. I don't know, man, this is some crazy content right now, but what y'all think, let me know in the comments down below. Appreciate the support, everybody tuning into the channel. Everybody out there working hard, remember, it will pay off. Stay down until you come up, put some hustle behind that muscle, and get to it. The content is contenting right now. Tune in, keep that notification bell turned on, and I'll be right back. Until next time, it's your boy Ray Giving. I'm gone. God bless. Peace.